Okay, next theorem is Norton's theorem. What Norton's theorem says a linear two terminal network can be replaced by an equivalent circuit that consists of a current source in parallel with a resistance Rn. Does it ring a bell? Of course, it rings uh, like a Thevenin's theorem. The only difference between Thevenin's theorem and Norton's theorem is in Thevenin's theorem, we got voltage source series resistance, but here we got current source parallel resistance. Like in the source transformation technique, one form of source into another form of source, we followed a procedure, right? The same thing you can he see here. In Thevenin's theorem, we got voltage source series resistance, here parallel resistance and a, uh, current source. There, the load resistance was connected in series to the equivalent model. Here, the load resistance is connected parallel to the equivalent model of Norton's theorem. That is the difference between Norton and the Thevenin's. Apart from this, Norton's theorem and uh, Thevenin's theorem, they um, used to make the complex circuit into a simpler circuit like this. Okay. What are the procedure um, after we followed here? First thing is, we want to open circuit the load point as usual. Second thing, we want to find out what is RTH as what we did in the V Thevenin. And third one is, we want to find out IN uh, by shorting the load point. Why? Because across the short circuit only, we have a current flow. If it is a open circuit, there will be no current flow or like this. Only we have a voltage drop across this, no current flow. Okay. So, we want to short the load point to get the IN value. Let us see one simple problem to understand this concept more clearly. So, we got a circuit 2 amps and this is 12 volt battery, this is 4 and this is 8, this is also 8, this is 5, A, B. So, find equivalent or not turns equivalent model. Okay. So, how to get Norton's equivalent model? As I said, the first procedure to find out the uh, RTH, it is similar to V Thevenin. So, we can have the same procedure what we followed in the V Thevenin to get the RTH value. Okay. So, to get that open circuit the current source, short circuit the voltage source, you will get a circuit like this. See in the problem itself, they have given the load terminal, it is a, a A and B. Okay. So, we do not need to bother about what is the load point. Now, um, we want to find out RTH at A and B. So, these three are connected one after another. So, they are in series connection. 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 8, it is 20. And the 5 amps, sorry, 5 ohms, they are parallel. 5 parallel, 20, you will get, I guess, 4 it is. 100 by 25 it is 4. So, RTH is formed, it is 4 ohm. Now, we want to find out IN value, which means Norton's current source value. To do this, we want to short circuit the uh, load power, load terminal. If so, to get IN, first let us draw the circuit with the sources. E and B point, 2 amps, 12 volt, 4, 8, Okay, 
now we want to short the load point to get current through that short circuit point you got it in the uh, v terminal we open circuited and we found vth now we short circuited and we are finding what is in value over here as uh, if we have a open circuit terminal that resistance had no value in the first problem of the evidence theorem we discussed here you see this is a short circuit point and there is a parallel resistance in the short circuit point what does it mean is if you have a short circuit in the circuit total current coming at this location will flow only through the short circuit no current will flow through the resistance valve because current will always find the easiest path to flow or other words we can say this is short circuit uh, terminal which means r value is zero if you do parallel combination of 5 and uh, 0 what will you get 0 into 5 divided by 5 you will get 0 which means this resistance will has no value 0 means again it is called a short circuit 0 nothing but the short circuit terminal resistance so parallel to short circuit resistance that has no value right so we can simply remove this now we can redraw the circuit this is i n okay so now what we want to do is um, we want to uh, find out the i n value and since 8 and 8 they are in series connection we can replace that into 16 also so i replace here itself it is 16 ohm okay so the circuit may look like this so this is i n or this is i n this is 2 amps 12 4 how to get i n value we got 12 ohm here 2 ohm here the best choice i guess you um, you guessed what analysis is apt of course it is nodal analysis is the best method to solve this one so assume this is v so we have one source towards the node so assume all the other nodes are outgoing node then 2 is equal to v minus 12 by 4 plus you refer my nodal analysis if you are watching this directly and v by 16 so 16 would be the lcm for this you will get 4v minus 12 into 4 uh, 48 plus v equal to 2 this will give you 5v minus 48 equal to 32 then 5v equal to um, 32 40 80 then v is equal to 1 Six, 16 volt. So, this V is 16 volt. So with the help of this, we can find out the current. What is that? 16 by 16. We will get I n value. This is V. What is the current flow? This one 16 ohm. This drop is 16. So, I equal to V by R, V is 16 volt divided by 16 ohm, you will get 1 ampere. 1 ampere is the current flowing through this one. That is nothing but the I n value. See, why I am saying current through 16 is I n? Because this is a short circuit terminal, right? When you add short circuit terminal along with the 16, you will get the same answer. Or moreover, this point is a wire, it is nothing but connection between or connection in series with 16 and the short circuit terminal. So, all the current in this particular branch is same. So, we can directly get 16 by 16, 1 amps. Now, the circuit is 1 amps and parallel to the resistance value is what is the resistance value? 4 ohm. 
and we can replace the load point. So there is no resistance in the load point. We will get A B. Okay. If you want any load, we can connect it here and we can find out what is the current flowing through this or voltage drop across this or what is the power dissipation uh, because of this particular element. Everything can be calculated if you have a load connection over here. We can give load at this point A and B. So like this, uh, we can solve uh, Norton's theorem also uh, to simplify the circuit analysis and for more practice or for, for understanding more clearly, do more practice problems in your home that will be useful because in the video I cannot solve uh, so many problems because I want to cover the syllabus. So try yourself to understand um, the theorems even more elaborately or conspicuously we can understand this 